Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm excited because we have not done a style steal in a hot friggin minute. We are going to be stealing the style of the iconic Princess Diana, but we're going to be like grabbing some of her off duty looks if you will so more of her casual style that's really what i wanted to embody for this video so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna list out some of the things that i noticed within her style and then i'm gonna create four different outfits that sort of roll with with that vibe so the first thing that i noticed about her style is that it was extremely simplistic like she was never going overboard with things and I think that's why I was so drawn to her style because that's very much my style as well. I love that simplistic look, you know, the less is more. Not too much layering going on, not too much color going on, not too much. It's not like you never know where to look. Like she just very easily put together an outfit and it just, it just always looked really good. It was like just enough that it was like the perfectly styled look. And I feel like that's one of those things that's almost harder to achieve than you would think. So very much like that effortlessly chic sort of style. Next, I would say um, something that I noticed was that she never wore a ton of color either, like not so much like the bam in your face, like color blocking, going crazy with color in any of her outfits, which once again is something that I'm extremely drawn to which is why I feel like I was drawn to her style um, so she definitely wore like more muted colors or pastels or just really was able to mix and match neutrals really well within her wardrobe or if she did wear color you know it was mixing maybe that one color with other neutrals so it wasn't once again it wasn't too much going on or too much in your face and she really mastered that i think you know playing with color can definitely be a tricky thing but she definitely knew how to rock the neutrals and made it work within her closet. So the next thing I would say is that obviously her style was incredibly timeless because here we are decades later trying to emulate some of her looks and they are very much things that you could get away with wearing today obviously because they are those things that stand the test of time. Um, you know those classic pieces that you can keep in your wardrobe for years and years to come and get that wear out of over and over and over again and you know you never have to part ways with it because it's not something that's super trendy or is going to go out of style within the next month or the next year or anything like that. I kind of feel like it's almost like she embodies that French girl style in a way like just the very you know the simplistic, the classic, the timeless, the the jeans and a blazer and just things that when you have that right piece it just sits you can just have it forever and you're good to go. Once again, something I'm extremely drawn to and I think she played off very, very well within her casual style. And lastly, I wanted to say something that I noticed was that she wore belts like with all of her outfits and I feel like it just added that perfect touch to every single one of her outfits. Sometimes, you know, she'd wear it to break up her look a little bit. So, you know, having more of that lighter outfit with the darker belt and then sometimes she'd also wear it to just seamlessly blend with her outfit and add that extra little accessory because I find, you know, adding a belt sometimes it just pulls a whole look together and it finishes it off even though it is like the most simple little thing it can really you know drastically improve your outfit and just make it seem complete and I think she really nailed how to wear a belt within all of her looks so that's something I definitely kept in mind when I was styling my outfits and trying to emulate her style was having sort of that belted look adding in that little accessory because it can be such an easy little way to to make everything come together <laughs> um okay so i wanted to get into the outfits that i styled for the first one i really wanted to try to embody more of that suited look like she definitely had more of like that tailored style too even when she was super casual like lots of blazers and the right fitting pants and that kind of thing so i wanted to go for like i'll put up some of the inspo pictures that i was trying to emulate but i wanted to go for more of that like suit combo but keep it quite casual like something you could just you know 
go out and about in as well so I ended up going for just a pair of like trousers that I have as well as a blazer ideally it would have been cool to totally match up the colors here like with the suit but you can easily you know mix and match if you don't have bottoms and a blazer that match like find something that is within that monochrome scheme to to get away with a look like this and then underneath I just wore a very very simple just basic white tank um, because I did notice you know when she was wearing those more suited looks she did have just like a very simple basic top underneath that was a neutral color like either a black or a white or something like that for shoes I ended up just going for a pair of flats I also did notice you know she was never really one to wear crazy stilettos or anything like that very much um, practical footwear but stylish footwear and nothing like with a crazy heel or anything like that like she very much had that once again like that french girl style like very practical and stylish and polished and then a big tote bag and of course the belt to match i thought a brown belt went really well with um this look So next up I wanted to do another one of her like more a blazer <laughs> inspired look. So she did a lot of like jeans and blazers as well. So I ended up going for a pair of like that wider leg denim, a basic white t-shirt and an oversized blazer. Um, a lot of her blazers did have more of that oversized vibe as well and she pulled it off so effortlessly. So that's kind of the look I was going for here. Um, the oversized blazer, once again, a very, very simple top underneath and I noticed she never never wore like tons of jewelry or anything like that so I didn't really accessorize up with much jewelry but I did you know once again add the belt in here and for the shoes for this one I just went with the um, nude flats again and then more of like a bigger you know work style bag or tote bag this next look is definitely another one that I feel like pretty well anyone could you know replicate because I'm sure you have something similar in your wardrobe as well you know a classic pair of jeans I went for the black denim and then a button-up blouse and you can go for any button-up blouse here and this is once again you know one of those like French girl style outfits one of those classic things that you can just have in your wardrobe and repeat over and over again yeah just went for a very very simple pinstriped button-up blouse pair of dark denim that are more of that straight leg a black belt I wanted to go for a belt this time around that sort of blended in with the outfit a little bit more but added that subtle little enhancement and then for shoes a pair of black loafers to go with it and then once again that what like work style bag or like a tote bag or something like that goes really really well with a look like this and sort of embodies her style as a whole here too and last but not least, this is probably my favorite outfit. <laughs> I love a look like this because it's just super casual, super relaxed, like perfect for running errands, but still like you feel a little more put together. Very much that athleisure vibe. And I just, I love that, that way of dressing. So wearing just a pair of biker shorts, grab yourself a big oversized sweater. And I ended up layering my sweater over top of a mock neck, just so I have that little bit of neck popping through under the sweater. And then a pair of, you know, sneakers, a pair of running shoes, a pair of white sneakers, whatever you have. I feel like this is very much like the 90s style to have like your socks kind of popping up <laughs> through your sneakers. And that adds a nice little touch to your outfit as well. You can polish this off with, um, you know, that work bag, that tote bag and make it a little more appropriate for running errands, things like that. And also even, you know, accessorizing with a watch or some pieces of jewelry and that can really help make it look more styled and less like you're going to the gym. So that wraps up the four outfits that I styled trying to embody her style. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, like I said, I really admired her style. I thought it was on point and you know, she always looked so good. So yeah, let me know how you think I did on these four outfits and I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some inspiration to maybe throw a new outfit together from your own wardrobe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!